Hello, my readers out there. This is Lynn Maynard, a pencil partner. And with Pencil Partner, we support our McGavick High School, our hospitality and culinary program. We also support Two Rivers Middle School. Go Pirates. Uh, we do a lot of reading with that school. And again, I love to read, and I'm so glad that you're back with me today to read another story. Little Bear, what are we going to read about today? <gasps> One. It's called One by Catherine Otishi. Not sure if I say that right, but Catherine Otishi. The book's called One. That's about a number, isn't it? I bet we're going to learn about numbers. Let's see. But maybe not. Okay, One by Catherine. Blue was a quiet color. Do you like the favorite color blue? I love blue. What is blue? We got sky and water. It's very calming color, isn't it? Blue is a quiet color. He enjoyed looking up at the sky, floating on the waves. Very comfortable because that's blue. On the days he felt daring, splashing in rain puddles. Do you like to splash in rain puddles? I do. It's a lot of fun. Every once in a while, he wished he could be more sunny like yellow. Yellow is a very sunny color, isn't it? Matter of fact, I got a yellow tablecloth today. It looks very sunny, doesn't it? Or bright light green, like our caterpillar, right? Or more regal, like purple. Purple is always a fun, passionate color, isn't it? Or outgoing, like orange. Or overall, he liked being blue, except when he was with red. I got red here. I got a red mug. Mm -hmm. I wonder what red is all about. hands are sticky today. Red was a hot head and he liked to pick on blue. Red likes to pick on blue. Oh, red is great color, he said. Red is hot. Blue is not. I think red thinks he's big, huh? Then blue would feel bad about being blue. Oh, no, we don't want blue to feel bad, do we? No. Sometimes yellow comforted blue because yellow is a sunny, warm color, right? Blue is very nice color, she'd say. But yellow never said that in front of red. She never said, stop picking on blue. I wonder why. Green, purple, and orange thought blue was nice too, but they never told red to stop either. I wonder why they won't stop red or talk to red. Every time red said something mean, and no one spoke up. He got what? Bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes. Red is growing. Soon Red grew so big that everyone was afraid of him. No one dared to stop him. Have you ever been afraid of somebody before or something? It can get bigger and bigger if we don't stop it, right? Red picked on all the colors. Then everyone felt a little blue. Yellow felt more like blue, and orange felt more like blue, and even purple, who's regal, and green too, until one came. Oh, that's not a color, but it is a color. It's gray, isn't it? But it's actually a number. It's called one, until one came. He had a different shape with bold strokes and squared corners. He's bold, isn't he, in square corners. He's not round like the other colors. He was funny. He made the colors laugh. Red saw this and got very what? Hot. And stopped laughing, he, he told yellow. Stop laughing, he told green. Stop laughing, he told purple and orange. And they did, because they were afraid of red. Red rolled up one. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Let me start again. Red rolled up to one. He rolled right up to one. Stop laughing, he told them. But one stood up straight like an arrow and said, no. Red was mad, but one wouldn't budge, so Red rolled away. I think he was maybe a little bit intimidated by one. One turned to the colors and said, if someone is mean and picks on me, I, for one, stand up and say, no. Then Yellow felt brave and said, me too. And Green agreed and said, me three. And then purple became four. And orange became what? Five. Oh, they're changing, aren't they? Blue saw the colors change and he wanted to count. Blue wanted to count too, didn't he? One, two, three, four, five, they all changed. Red grew hotter. He felt left out, just like Jackson. Do you feel left out, Jackson? Are you coming to join me in the story today? You count too, don't you? 
So let's go back to this page. And it said, red grew red hot. And he felt left out. And you grew hotter and hotter. And he even got more hotter. Red raced over to Blue and said what he always did. Red is hot. Blue is not. But this time, Blue stood up tall and became what? Six. Red can't really. Red can be really hot, he said. But Blue can even be what? Super cool. Red blew a fuse. And he tried to roll over on Blue. He tried to run Blue over, which is now a six, right? But everyone took a stand and said no. Are they all taking a stand and counting? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seeing them stand tall made Red feel what? Very, very, very small. Then Red turned even redder and began rolling away. Do you think he's getting sad? Red rocked and rolled and turned into what? A seven. Everyone counts, they shouted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then Red laughed and joined the fun. Sometimes it just takes one. Sometimes it just takes one of us to stand up, right? To somebody that's being mean and not so nice. And when we stand up, we count and they count too. Even Red counts, right? That's all about being kind. So again, back to if we love big, we love everybody and we take care of them and they all count. So my message today is, if you're going to be kind, be a kind human, because we're all humans, and we're, and our job is to be kind and take care of everybody. Right, Jackson? You came back to me, didn't you? All right, I have a, I lost my question book. No questions today. Oh, let's make one up. Why don't we just make one up since I don't have a picture, picture book? Let's make up a number. Give me a number. Let's go seven, since seven became red, and red changed. Who will you be kind to today and take care of and give them a great big hug? All right. See you next time.